Hello, I'm Lady Aska and today I want to talk about how to set up VC Face. Installing VC Face. To install VC Face, you go to their website, link in the description, and download their current version. A zip file should show up in your download folder once the download is complete. Use WinRA or 7-zip to unzip the file and this folder should show up wherever you decide to unpack it. Inside of the folder, you will find the vcface.exe, which you can execute and the program starts up right away. Setting everything up. After starting up the program, you can import your .vrm avatar from any location on the computer. I mention it specifically because other programs like Lapid and Wakaru would require you to move your .vrm files first into a specific folder to be recognized. Don't forget to set up your camera if you have one and don't forget to set the camera settings and camera frame rate to something that is supported by your webcam. I use a Logitech C922 Pro, so I'm going with the, for me, best quality options possible. You can also choose the tracking quality. I mentioned in my first video on how to be a VTuber, a recommended PC setup, as this will influence the quality of the tracking. I have mine on high quality, and I can stream with that at the same time. If you have less than my mentioned recommended setup, you still can use VC Face, but the quality will obviously be lower than what you see here in the video. For example, on high quality, the program can track me blinking with one eye, while this is how it looks on toaster quality. You got head tracking, but the avatar shivers weirdly, and all the options for wing support don't even show up in the general settings tab anymore. Even if you don't have a camera and can't use movement tracking, you still can use the fake gaze option and the auto blink option. But as you see, there is no movement at all. You still look better than a static PNG avatar though. So this could be actually an upgrade for you. As I also mentioned in my other video, for people without a webcam, I actually recommend the software VMagic Mirror, since it adds some breathing animation and slight movement to the character and looks a bit more natural. What else can you do with VC Face? One of the many great features of VC Face is the option to put expressions onto keys if you don't want them to be triggered all the time by your eyebrow movement. Mine would look either happy or angry all the time, so I disabled that for myself and use set keys on my keyboard for expressions. I recommend you to be a bit more smarter than me and get yourself a little USB keyboard on the side that you use for expressions only. Otherwise, this may happen. This is just a normal big, right? But you can actually put a custom amount. So I could put like uh, 30 in here. Look, this isn't this fun. Really, I think this is so funny. <laughs> Well, it may have looked like I was actually planning these, these were totally accidental. Because I forgot that I would use these keys also during my streams. You could be even more unlucky if these keys happen to be shortcuts or trigger certain things in-game that you don't want to trigger. So just be aware of that. Another great feature is the hand tracking that you can use if you have a leap motion controller. I like the option by itself and VC Face as a software does a pretty good job with it. I can only recommend you to do a bit more research on the leap motion first before considering to get one. While I think it's useful in certain situations, I don't think it's useful for streaming for example. The simple reason for this is that the device gets really hot during use and once that happens, the tracking doesn't work that well anymore. You can safely use it for about 30 minutes before the dragging starts to get wonky. I find it useful for YouTube content as you can use it in short intervals for recording but wouldn't suggest it for streamers. What is also great about VC Face is that you can use iFacial mocap on a Face ID capable iPhone if you set up the 52 necessary blend shapes for it. Blend shapes are preset expressions and to use this feature you have to map them correctly beforehand. On the VC Face website, there's actually a tutorial on how to use HANA tool to get these done, but you will also find tutorials here on YouTube for it that walk you through the entire process. I asked my friend Nianfu to lend me some of her footage so I can show how it would look in action. 
even though I don't own an iPhone myself. DC Face also allows for full body tracking through a program called 3D Post Tracker using VMC protocol. Sadly, I couldn't try this out myself to show you, but just so you know, the option is available. And there are tutorials here on YouTube by other creators who give you an in depth view. I link good one here for you. And it's also linked down in the description. It looks pretty amazing for being free and can be used with a USB webcam. In combination with the leap motion and the iPhone face tracking, you have a really good setup for basic all-around tracking without investing in a full tracking suit. Though, as mentioned, the leap motion and also the body tracking are more useful for YouTube videos and less for streaming because of certain limitations. Like the mentioned overheating or that you have to be present from head to toe for the 3D pose tracker to track your movement. What is especially interesting for VTubers is that you can run pre-recorded footage through the program and actually create a dance routine with your avatar for a music video for example, without a full motion capture suit. While live capture is possible, it will obviously take a lot of processing power from your PC to run smooth. And what else? You can add effects with VC Face like bloom effects, shadow effects, lens distortion effects, etc. And you can set light settings to cast shadows and add a more realistic look onto your avatar. Under expression settings, you can set your expressions to certain keys and enable disable mouth movement and blinking while the expression is on. But as I said already, better have a separate keyboard for that or key combinations that you know you rarely use. Last but not least, my personal opinion and for whom I recommend VC Face. From my perspective, VC Face is the top of the line, free to use 3D tracking software that is out there at the moment. The reason is that it's versatile and can serve beginners and advanced users alike and can really grow with you as you grow as a 3D VTuber and get your hands on better equipment and more advanced avatar features. It's easy to set up, but you require some serious time to get over the fact that you can customize it so much and that there are so many sliders and so many options. I wouldn't recommend it for someone that just wants to have a fun plug and play solution, so to say. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to put them in the comment section below. See you guys in the next one. Hope you have a wonderful day.